For the first time in history, America will learn the answer to that question. It's put up or shut up time for the top 60 weightlifters in the USA. Today in Chicago, one man and one man only will be able to say, I was so in America. Welcome to Allstate Arena here in Chicago, Illinois, and welcome to history. Today, for the first time ever, Bench America brings the best lifters in the country under one roof with one bench and one set of rules. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chicago. I'm Eric Collins, alongside Sean Catterley, the co-editor of Monster Muscle Magazine. And Sean, let's get right down to it. You've been chopping at the bit all week long. Why is this event so special? Eric, this event is more than special. It is going to be totally insane. Every lifter we're going to see today is either a national record holder, a world record holder, or a national or world champion. Now, some of these lifters may not be household names just yet, but they will be by the end of the day. Let's talk about a couple of them. Number one, let's talk about a, I got a small name, but big game. Tiny Meeker from Humble, Texas. Tiny Meeker, the big bad bouncer from Humble, Texas. This guy is a wild card, and he is going to be bench pressing over 700 pounds. Another big guy to talk about, how about Rob Capazzolo? He's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and this guy is just driven with intensity. Rob Capazzolo, in all the years I've been involved in this sport, I have never seen somebody quite this hardcore. He is going to go off the hook today. Benching in the 700 pound range, we don't know what to expect from this guy. Now, Sean, the guy that you feel has real star power is August Clark. August Clark Jr., the first man in history to bench press over 500 pounds at only 148 pounds body weight. Now, as the day goes by, we'll be getting you even more up to speed with these competitors. Pete McMurray is the third member of our broadcast team, and he will give you behind-the-scenes access to these guys and more. With this first installment, well, he has more on August Clark. Thanks, Eric. Backstage, hopping with excitement. We're with August Clark. August, you've trained all your life, the best of the best. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll tell you what, it's, it's a privilege to be here with some of the best, you know, Scott Mendelson, Joe Ladner, uh, Tina Reinhardt, and... Uh, even myself, I call myself the best, so uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. I, I know the people ready for a good show, and I'm here to bring it to them, baby. The Bayou Kid is in the house. August, are you going to bench press four times your body weight, or are we going to see that today? Who knows? i tell you what. It depends on the way that the weight feels. Uh, fourth attempt comes down, ain't no stopping me. 5.95 probably will ride today. If I could get the crowd with me, baby, we can roll it. All right, guys, back to you. Well, we've yet to get to the biggest story in town, and if you'd like to get to that, all you have to do is ask the other lifters. Scott Mendelson. Scott Mendelson. 900 pounds. That's crazy. That's sick. That's Scott Mendelson. Scott Mendelson is an awesome man, and it's just a pleasure to be on the same platform. We ready to rumble, people? <laughs> Fox style, the way we know. <laughs> There's Scott getting a facial, and don't worry, folks, that's his wife doing the hitting. She gets him ready, and look at this, Sean. Here he is setting the world record. That is incredible. 821 pounds blasting off his chest. Well, for now, Scott Mendelson will have to wait. It's time to check in on someone who may be, pound for pound, the strongest female lifter in the world. It's Tina Reinhardt. Tina's glad to be here, but not all that comfortable with her competition. Well, it, it gets frustrating sometimes because, you know, I'm a professional power lifter now, and most of the big money goes to the men. And, you know, I like to see that change in the future. Um, I don't see it change anytime soon. And I've, I really don't want to compete against the men. It's just the numbers, and I'm, I'm ranked, you know, right up in the top five with the 132 pound men. And I thought, why not, you know, go and see what I can do. First time 355 did it with ease. This is going to be 370 pounds, a staggering amount. It would be her personal best. This lady is freaking strong. She is the six-time Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic bench press champion. Watch her go. What do you say, Tina? Five foot one, 132 pounds, 35 years of age, from Chillicothe, Ohio. And she gets it done. Oh my! All three judges say it's a good muscle. And that, folks. 
was just flat out incredible. The power of Tina Reinhardt on display, her personal best. She's in the big truck and she's ready to roll over the competition. The drama is starting to build in the 132 pound class. 16 year old Nick Hatch needs to put this up. 405 pounds and he will be the winner. Wow. He gets this 405, the victory's his. Look at the intensity. This kid is psycho strong. Oh, and he's got it. That looks like a victory for Nick Hatch. Yeah, and he's fired up. There's no gender barrier here at Bench America, so Tina Reinhardt will take second in the 132s. But now, she goes for the record book. This is history in the making. This is going to be the first time ever that a woman has bench pressed three times her body weight. If she can do this, this is going into the record books. Only weighs 130 History in the making right here. Tina Reinhardt, 390 pound bench press, triple body weight. The pride of Chillicothe, Ohio. Boy, look at that weight going up. Ohio proud. Tina Reinhardt, triple body weight, 390 pounds. Incredible history being made here at all stage. That is absolutely amazing. Between a teenager bench pressing 405 and a lady bench pressing triple body weight, we have seen stuff that we've never been done before on this planet. Women have been competing in the bench press for decades. She's the first ever. Well, the talk of the arena today, Tina Reinhardt and Pete McMurray's with her. Pete. Tina, world record 390 pounds. How does it feel? Feels great. It feels wonderful. You smoked it today. Yeah, it felt pretty light. The Arnold Classic, you won it six times, a world record, 390 pounds. What's next? I just want to enjoy this, triple my body weight. That was my main goal. Um, I, I just want to maybe hit 400, 405. How important was this to uh, do this in front of your peers? This is, I'm the first female to ever triple my body weight on a bench, and it, it, it just feels great. The fans were absolutely, you know, it made me excited, got me into it, and this is one of the best competitions I've ever benched in. Congratulations. Enjoy it today. Thank you very much. Guys, back to you. Thanks a lot, Pete. Of course, we'll be hearing from Pete much more as the afternoon continues. But still to come, when we return, Joe Mukike will take his first couple of lifts. Of course, he is the founder of this event. We will also have the 165s highlighting August Clark. He's 148 pounds, but he's competing with the big boys at 165. And then, of course, Scott Mendelson. Stick around for that. He's trying to shock the world and possibly put up 900 pounds. A year ago, when we talked about bringing the best lifters in the country here to Chicago, it was just a dream. And now here we are. One bench, one bar, one set of rules. No matter what happens, whether I handle the weight or the weight handles me, I'm here to tell you I just couldn't have done it without you, Mary Lee. There's his wife, Mary Lee looking on proudly and Joe trying to impress. Joe has previously bench pressed three times his body weight. He is one of the best bench pressers of all time for his weight class. You've got to give this guy a lot of credit. All the work that went into putting on this show and then to show up and compete. That's amazing. Push it Joe, push! Unbelievable! So Joe Mukai making 410 pounds look easy, but putting together this contest was anything but. Pete McMurray has more. Joe, tell us how you started the competition. How'd you get into this? Well, actually, um, I got back into powerlifting a couple of years ago after being out for for quite a long time, um, and I set a world record after about eight months, and I went back to to check on um, the stats when the Powerlifting USA came out. And I found out I was only ranked number 15. And so I thought to myself, what, how can I have a world record and be ranked number 15? So I did some research and I found out after time that there are more than one sanction of powerlifting. And as it turns out, after a lot of research, I found out there's 14 different sanctions of powerlifting, which meant there are 14 different records. I came up with the idea of this all-star game where we would take one bench, one bar, one set of rules, and 20 years of talk as far as who the best who the strongest man in America really was. We'd bring them all to Chicago and compete uh, 
at the Allstate Arena. We continue now with the 148-pound weight class. 